In this video, you will learn how to mint, buy and sell Stacks NFTs secured by Bitcoin. In the most basic terms, NFTs or non-fungible tokens are digital assets that are stored on a blockchain. Now, this can be anything, an image, a video, a graphic, an icon, even a single pixel or a piece of text, or a tweet for that matter. Some NFTs bring you utility, like becoming part of a members club with various benefits, while others are digital pieces of art. Buying an NFT gives you proof of ownership over that digital asset. This means that on a certain blockchain network that the NFT functions on, everybody knows and can see that you are the owner of the NFT. This ownership can be sent or sold to another person. While buying, selling and sending an NFT is self-explanatory, minting an NFT is something you might not be familiar of. This is the process of uniquely publishing a token on the blockchain to make it purchasable. The creation of the NFT, so to say. Minting makes you the first owner of an NFT, while buying an NFT means buying an already minted NFT from somebody else. Before we start, this video assumes that you already successfully created a web browser wallet. This meaning you have 1. Installed the Hero Browser extension, 2. Have a secret key phrase that you never share with anyone, and 3. Have a password that you can use to log onto your wallet. If you don't have one of these things, we advise you to watch our tutorial called How to Install and Use a Stax Web Wallet. The link to this tutorial is available in the description below this video. First of all, minting an NFT. We will first start by logging on to the web wallet by going to the upper right corner of the screen, clicking on the hero wallet and signing in with our passwords. Now, you can always directly go to the desired Stacks marketplace by going to their website, but for now we will click buy NFTs in the wallet. We will now get the option to choose between the three largest NFT marketplaces on Stacks. For this tutorial, we will choose Gamma. After going to the website, you will connect your wallets on the Gamma website. You will do this by clicking Connect Stacks Wallet and choose your main account. After verifying our wallet, we will get to see an overview of our profile and all the NFTs that we own. At the moment, we have none, but we're going to do something about this. Let's move on and choose the NFT that we want to mint or buy. You can search for specific names, go to the explore section or even go to the collection page where you want to see the sales volume, lowest price that the NFT collection is being sold for and much more. These statistics can give you an idea which NFT collections are getting a lot of traction. Since we're looking to mint an NFT, we go to the explore tab and click minting now. These are new projects that are now minting. For this tutorial we will choose a random NFT and mint a Pizza Hunter. On the right side you will see the mint price. Clicking on this button we will start the process of minting an NFT. A screen will pop up with the smart contract info. Once we click confirm the minting will start. Be aware that once you click confirm there is no way back. You can view the transaction process where you can keep track of the stages of your purchase. This process will go from pending to in micro block followed by confirmed in anchor block. Please keep in mind, this process can take a while, so feel free to do something else while your new NFT is being minted. Buying an NFT works in a similar way. For this example, we will search for a free punk. Please be aware, it could occur that there are different copies of one NFT project, which can cause you to buy something you do not want. To verify that we're buying an NFT from the right project, we can always check the amount of owners and even better, the trading volume. This should give us an indication that we're minting the right NFT. We can always double verify by going to the official social media channels or website from that NFT collection and click on the link that is associated with their channels. It's better to be safe than sorry. So, to buy our NFT, we will choose one Stax Punk. This punk is listed for 3 SDX. Once we click buy now, we will go into the same process. A pop-up will be showed where we will confirm our action. After clicking confirm, the Gamma website will say that our purchase is pending. Again, the process of actually buying the NFT may take a while, so don't get anxious about a possible error. After a while, when clicking on your wallet address profile on the top right of the Gamma website, you will see the two NFTs you now own. Congratulations, you have now successfully minted and bought an NFT on Stacks. From here, we have the option to list our NFT, meaning choosing a certain amount of SDX we would want to sell our NFT for. For this tutorial, we will aim to sell this NFT for 5 SDX and click list for 5 SDX. 
Again, a screen will pop up where we click confirm and can check the explorer to see whether our NFT has been listed. Once listed, everyone with a Stacks wallet can buy our NFT. If we decide that we don't want to sell our NFT anymore or want to change the price, we can easily delist our NFT and do as desired. If we want to send an NFT to another wallet address, we can go to the NFT that we would want to send, click send, fill in the address of the wallet that we want to send it to and click send to. Again, a pop-up will be shown where you confirm your action. The sending NFT function will be pending and after some time, the other address will receive your NFT. Keep in mind, you are not able to cancel this process once clicked confirmed. So now you are able to mint, buy, list, sell and send NFTs on Stacks. Congratulations! If you enjoyed this tutorial, feel free to leave a like and share this with everybody interested in minting, buying, selling and sending NFTs on the Stacks blockchain. Thanks for watching.